Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Richardson, a maxillofacial and a craniofacial surgeon. And today I'm wearing gloves for a different reason. That's because I'm going to show you something about the coins of Tipu Sultan. I'm sure most of you know about Tipu Sultan. Uh, if you don't know, now you know. He was a famous ruler of Mysore, born in the year 1750. Uh, in around the same place where the current airport in Bangalore is located in a place called Devanahalli and he was killed by the British on May 4th, 1799 uh, in his capital of Sri Ranga Patan which he calls as Patan. He was just 40 something. He was a brilliant guy leaving all his political things behind about converting people and all of that. Besides that he was a man who was brilliant in terms of his military in terms of his banking knowledge and also in terms of his ideas to make sure the British wouldn't get a hold of his kingdom. I definitely think he was the last thorn in the British flesh, you know, before they could get control of South India. Here today I've pulled out some of my old coins uh, from a lot and I'm going to show you how Tipu's coins, especially the copper paisas, beautifully executed in different precise weights and they were also issued out of eight different mints so you're gonna have a look I'm gonna show you one by one uh, in the few minutes and maybe you will get some idea about what I'm talking about right so the first thing is he had denomination of these coins in many weights or many categories we today call them as double paisas paisas half paisa quarter paisa and one by eight paisas. The double paisas are usually the rarest to find today and so are the one by eight paisas. The paisas and the half paisas are quite commonly met with even today, especially the common mints and also the quarter paisas. In this lot here, I've got mainly paisas and a few quarter paisas. Most of the Tipu coins were from his capital of Sri Ranga Patan, which is called as Patan, but his kingdom extended into Kerala near Calicut where he made the coins of Calicut mint and also Feroke mint which is a place very close to Calicut. He came down south almost close to Madurai in a place called Dindigal which we called as Kalikabad. He had a mint in Coimbatore near called Satyamangalam and he also had a mint in Shimoga. He had a mint in Andhra Pradesh in Guti or Guntur. So many areas his kingdom covered in today's uh, st geography four states and these coins are from different areas and uh, they also have the years in which they were minted so I'm gonna go and show you uh, about these coins okay so let me just start with this guy now the first one so this you see is a half paisa and the rest I'm gonna try and pick up the half paisas first we have another half paisa there there's another one there there's another one here there are a few half paisas in this lot and the rest are all paisas so i'm going to first take off all the half paisas for you so you understand what i'm saying there are a few more here all right i think that's about it okay now in this half paisas i'm going to separate the mint out for you and then we'll go to the year this is patan again patan patan Again Patan. So you see a really common is Patan. Again Patan. Now this is not Patan. This is Fais Hisar or Chitra Durga. Sorry this is Fais Hisar. This is Chitra Durga. Uh, this is again Patan. Patan. This is again Fais Hisar. And this is Bangalore okay so let's start with bangalore now so here you see the elephant is going left but the year is not visible so and bangalore usually comes with three years one two one five one two one six and one two one seven this is visible here so you see here this is one two one five with the five in the shape of a heart and then there's another variety which you will see here uh, this in this one it's also one two one five one two one five but the two and five are different and the way of writing is from left to right here is from right to left this is a very good condition coin the Sarangi Patan first issues of one two one five 
okay then you have this i'm going to go to the next one this is one two one nine so what do these years mean so one two one nine for example refers to the year about um 1790 in english years 1790 1785 1785 1785 maybe 1786 this is 1222 so this is probably going to be 1796 or 1795 1223 so he was killed in the year 1227 and that was 1799 this was four years before so this comes from 1795 this is 1217 but this is Chitra Durga and this is Phi Sisar. so we basically have now one Bangalore two Phi Sisar, one and all of these are different so you see you can collect these are different dates 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 5, 2 different varieties, 3 different varieties, 1, 2, 1, 9, and this one the date is not clear, the date is um, off struck, alright, so now let's move on to some of the paisas, uh, so we have paisas, this is a paisa from Calicut, that mint is Calicut, I'm going to show you some other mints, and this is Nagar, Nagar is a place called Bednur in, um, in Karnataka. This is a paisa with an elephant facing left with the year 1221. It's a pretty nice coin. Oh, there's another half paisa sitting here. You know, put it back there. So, we're going to show you some nice coins here. 1222 paisa. Look at the beauty. Now, I have to say that some of the tupu coins are so beautifully executed especially the ones in silver and gold even the good condition ones in copper are absolutely beautiful and many numerous matters we think this is one of the best coins ever to be struck in india especially the silver and gold ones the real examples of art of fine work that have been instituted on coins with precision precision in weight precision in script and precision in every aspect of the denomination even you can see here uh, on the copper ones you can see the elephant design how one two two one one two 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 and they the, and they can be cleaned you know this is all not clean you see just with a little bit of rubbing on my hands on my glove i can see they're getting cleaned yeah uh, you're going to be careful about cleaning ancient coins uh, but still some of the times it helps by cleaning and then this is another one two 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 similar coin you can see that a nice coin of uh, Patan you can see the grade it's a very nice truck remember they all are not clean there in the way it was found so it's you can see my glove just by handling for a few minutes it's turning brown and this is another one so I'm going to try and show you some different mints here. This elephant with one leg raised, it's a it's a coin from uh, Calicut. So I've got this coin here on Calicut. And then this is a similar coin, these two. You can see similar coins of Faroke. Sorry, this is a Faruki of Faroke. Another Nagar. And then this is the same variety like this of the paisa so same year same mint you can see the similarity in the coin one is one paisa and the one is half paisa and uh, we move on this is again nagar one two two four all right so what i'm what i'm trying to say is that since he issued coins of different weights i already said there are five different weights eight different mints and different dye varieties of each mint in each year so you're looking at like a lot of varieties that you can collect the amount of different coins a collector can get his hands on is humongous now there are a lot of books on tipu coins I would think the book written by Henderson, which is now more than 100 years old, 
is still the Bible for it. It's still like the basic reference book you want to go to because you get different types of coins mentioned in there based on the mint, based on the type, based on the denomination and the year. All right. Now I'm going to show you one more. There's a nice coin that I just picked up. So this is an undated version of the Tipu Paisa. Uh, no date, but large looking coin, large flan. Compare this with the half paisa. Well, you will think this is double paisa because this is probably four times the size of this. But remember, all of this goes by weight. So this is flatter and thinner, while this is um, thicker, so more weight. I'm going to look for the coin uh, which was minted on the last year of Tipu's death which is 1227 this is 1226 so this was minted one year before he died I'm not sure if it's there in this lot this is 1225 so two years before he died again 1226 um, maybe this one yes so this was a coin the last coin issued by Tipu Sultan you can see there's an elephant here and it's got three dots on top on the alif and then here is the year one two two seven this corresponds to 1799 some people say this was issued a few months after Tipu Sultan died and that's possible because this was issued from another city and those days you know it took some time for news to travel and so probably this was even issued a month or two after the death of the famous ruler and that's uh, last coin I'm sure because we don't have anything more than 1227 another one with 1226 it's also believed that these coins the last coins and the coins that he issued from Nagar he had a lot of French support of French sculptors engravers were part of the ones who designed some of these coins now, I'm not sure if we have any coin of Tipu's father here, Hyder Ali, who actually set up the Mysore kingdom for him. He rank, he rose up from a small soldier and then became the Sultan. I'm going to find out if I find any uh, coins of Hyder Ali's father. I've got two now. This is another half paisa. So we have two, probably I'm going to just explain about these coins. Alright, so... Now these are the earlier coins, you can see the difference between the ones struck by his dad, Hyder Ali, and then the ones by Tipu. You can compare and see the beauty. I mean, just a naked eye will tell you that. Uh, but the elephant coins before, and this is the year here. He has the year 1099. This is issued by Hyder Ali, his father. And um, those were the coins that was issued first before um, Tipu Sultan. This is a 5 Cesar. And there are different varieties in this also. You can see the type of the elephant here, a very thin, lean one to a much more stout elephant lookish, elephant looking. This one is the one without a date, again issued from Sarangi Patan or Patan. Uh, this is from Bednur or Nagar, which has the date 99. And this is also from Patan. So, so this collection itself i think would easily have about 50 55 varieties of tipu coins um, yes they're not as easy as they used to come by let's say a couple of decades ago when i started my collection but you still find them and you've got to be careful because there are counterfeits also quite freely available but if you get hold of the good ones even if they're not in very great condition as long as you can see the year and the mint, I think it's a good coin for collection because they're going to get more and more difficult in the years to come. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful 
thing to have different types of the mints and years and it's a fabulous collection so you get connected with someone 250 years back in time someone who was actually a phenomenal guy in many ways than uh, more than one uh, it can be very clearly said that if Tipu Sultan didn't die or, or wasn't killed by the British uh, it would have taken more years for the British to become the superpower they just became because they also were the first ones to use rockets you know the technology of rockets was actually devised by Tipu Sultan was used against the British the British then capture a lot of the rockets which Tipu had and then they take it back to England and they came, come off with their own share gave rockets which these rockets they use against many other people including Napoleon and so on and so forth so I think the whole the rocket warfare concept of launching missiles also comes or is from Tipu Sultan okay so I'm pretty much there's still so many varieties here it'll take me a lot of time to go through one by one uh, I've got another half by side which I'm going to put it to that side so I hope this video was useful and it will stimulate you to get down to collecting some good Tipu Sultan and Mysore coins and it's going to be well worth your time I'm sure thank you